grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. And a very warm welcome to Paisley Abbey on this fifth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Give us grace to love one another and walk in the way of his commandments, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we shall hear the words of Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He does not just show us the way, he is the way. The way to life lived as God would have us live our lives. Come with me, he says, follow me, and I will lead you to your goal in life. Live as I have lived, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Even when we know the way to a right relationship with God and with other people, we often choose to go our own selfish ways. Let us now pause and ask God to forgive us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14, and reading from verse 1. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Alleluia. The east window of the Abbey is one of the Abbey's glories, packed full of meaning. The central panel depicts the ascended Christ enthroned. Beneath him is the Holy Spirit, depicted as a dove, descending on Christ's followers. And at the bottom of the panel, there is the holy table, with three chalices on it. On either side of that bottom section, there is, on the left, the depiction of St. James, one of the Abbey's patron saints, kneeling, holding the great seal of the Abbey. And on the right, St. Miriam, another of our patron saints, likewise kneeling and holding in his hand a model of the Abbey. Behind them stand the fathers of the Church in Scotland, St. Ninian, and St. Columba. The seal and the model represent the Abbey Church, not just 
the physical building, but all who have been in the past and are today what St. Peter in his first letter describes as living stones whose calling is to be built into a spiritual house. It is to Christ that all Christians look. The Son of God, who in today's Gospel reading describes himself as the way, the truth and the life. In his poem The Call, the 17th century poet George Herbert draws on this self-description of Jesus. He writes, Come my way, my truth, my life, such a way as gives us breath, such a truth that ends all strife, such a life as killeth death. In Christ we find true life, life that leads to a right and loving relationship with other people, life that will not end when we die, but will continue in that realm where Jesus says, there are many dwelling places, and where he has gone to prepare a place for us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now listen to Flora, a member of the Abbey Choir, singing Thomas Campion's Sing a Song of Joy. Hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray. We pray for the Church, God's pilgrim people led by Jesus. May we ever support and encourage one another on the way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those struggling at this time with illness, with anxiety, with loneliness. Help us to be to them your loving presence along the road of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Elizabeth, our Queen and those who lead our nation and the nations of the world. Lead them to make wise decisions for the good of all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who continue to serve the community in the NHS, the emergency services, the care sector, and other key areas of our common life, that they may be strengthened in the knowledge of the support they have from the whole community. Lord, in your mercy, hear 
our prayer. In these perplexing times, we pray for ourselves, our families, and our friends. Guide us, we pray, as we face all the uncertainty of the present time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all who have passed from this life to the next. May they know the joy of the dwelling place prepared for them in the Father's house. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God our Father, in the midst of all our uncertainties and anxieties, help us always to trust in you and in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, that we may enjoy the peace of your kingdom. And to you, with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, we ascribe all glory and praise now and forever. Amen. And let us say together the family prayer of the Church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life, and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you forever. Amen. We end today with a recording of O Death, Where Is Thy Sting? from Handel's Messiah, sung and played by members of the Abbey Choir. <laughs> Where is thy sting? Where is thy sting?